We've been looking at the basic laws that govern the body and the brain. Sunshine. Our brain needs sun and you know how it gets sun? Through our eyes. I don't suggest you look at the sun but just being outside. And if you've got glasses, please take them off and find a tree and hang onto it for a while. Just in case you can't see very well. Our eyes need sunshine. This would be an N in there, shouldn't there? I've got a few teachers watching me this week. <laughs> Use of water. Did you know that our brain is a hydroelectric system? No water, no hydro, no hydro, no electricity. Our, our brain cells swim in fluid. The electricity jumps from cell to cell via this hydroelectric electric system. And it's just not water, it's salt water. And we've been looking at the importance of having the whole salt. And apparently the local health food shop's wondering what's happening in the town because all the Celtic salt is sold out. 82 minerals in that salt. Sleep. Wow, this is one of the biggest deceptions, that we don't need much sleep. Dr. Matthew Walker, in his book, Why We Sleep, he says six nights, no, sorry, ten, ten nights of six hours sleep a night, 50% less cognitive performance, 50% less physical performance. And the problem with six hours sleep is you feel okay. <laughs> It's a deception. You are not okay. And it's in the early parts of the night, there's a cleaning system happens in the brain. So if we go to bed at midnight or one o'clock every night, year after year after year after year, do you know the cleaning system's not happening? And something builds up in the front part of the brain and they're little calcified deposits. They're called little amyloid plaques. And every case of dementia, when they do a post-mortem on them, they find little amyloid plaques. They can even pick them up in a scan. And I don't know about you, but I don't want to go there. I want my mind to be as clear as my 99-year-old grandmother was when she died. <laughs> I want it to be clear. And God never, ever designed that brains deteriorate the way they're deteriorating. The very famous British Prime Minister, Margaret Thatcher, she boasted that she only needed five hours sleep a night. And how did she spend the last 20 years of her life? Severe dementia. Ronald Reagan's another one famous uh, United States President. He boasted only on needing five hours sleep a night. It's a huge deception. Last 20 years of his life, severe dementia. Eesh. We want to get to bed early tonight, don't we? <laughs> and you know what's interesting? It's the hours before midnight where most of the cleaning happens. If you go to bed at midnight and don't get up till 8 a.m., yes, you've had eight hours, but you've missed out on the cleaning part. There's never been such a problem as now because every home has technology. That's what keeps us awake. Isn't that true? If at 8 o'clock we get a soft light and a book, what are we doing by 9? <laughs> and if you can't sleep, I've got some good news. You can rewire your brain, and I'm going to show you how to do that in a minute. You can rewire your brain and you can train your brain. It's called, it's called now, technically, it's called neuroplasticity, meaning we've got a changeable brain. <laughs> 